hello and welcome back to my channel guys today i'll be showing you how to repair a mercedes printer alternator the tools that we're going to use to repair this alternator are a 15 millimeter socket a 13 millimeter socket which is long and a pd2 phillips head it's better to use an impact gun instead of a ratchet because it gives you more power and it's quicker to use the first thing you want to do is make sure the pulley is fine you can do that by twisting it and turning it back slightly while you're doing it that way you can check the clutch mechanism on it um, mercedes sprinters alternators are common for the pulley problem if the pulley is fine you can move on to opening the back there's a 15 millimeter nut on the back you take that off and then there's a phillips head as well there's a 13 millimeter nut that needs to come off with the positive connection goes and now there's three phillips screws as well we're just knocking them down so that it makes it easier to open them because they haven't been opened before and they become stiff and if you try spinning it with the machine then they usually end up getting rounded off so that won't be helpful for you You'll have to take the screws out completely, you can't leave them in there as they'll get stuck and you won't be able to take the whole regulator off. Once that's done the regulator just pulls off and as you can see on this one the brushes are really thin, that's why this alternator wasn't charging the battery. Now that the slip ring is exposed because the regulator is taken out, you can see on the inside there is black marks. These are caused by the slip ring and the carbon brushes not having a good connection and that's carbon burnt off onto the slip ring. The first thing you need to do to make this repair is take all of the carbon off and you can do that by using sandpaper. The best thing to do to clear it is to have the pulley turning from one side so that you can get complete rotation on the slip ring to clear the carbon up. Over here you can see the difference between the carbon brushes from the previous part and the new one that we're going to fit inside it now. Carefully align the carbon brushes onto the slip ring so that they can fit in the right position and slide the rest of the regulator in. Make sure the holes for the screws are all aligned. You can put the screws into the holes and turn it one to two threads so that you can make sure that it stays in the right place. Once you've got the placement right, then you can start tightening the screws.
to make sure that you've got the brushes in the right place you can turn the pulley and make sure that there's no extra noises coming out of it and it should be a smooth rotation which shouldn't be getting stuck anyway and now we can start fitting the rest of her back you can put the back cover on and place the screws in the right holes So the 15mm nut goes on the right place, the Phillips head goes on the right place and the 13mm socket goes on the positive connection. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads. Thank you.